Hello, how is everyone doing this evening? This is going out live on Facebook and Twitter. It's mainly for my Twitter peeps, but there's some people probably on Facebook that are interested in learning about Flare Networks. And so I'm going to start doing just some real quick videos to talk about Flare. Um, you know, I've, I've got a, a pretty basic understanding, um, but it seems like it's a little more basic than a lot of people. So I thought I'd take a couple minutes and just start breaking down and talking about Flare and Songbird since it's launched. Don't see a lot of content out there. Um, one of the places I would direct you to would be Mickey B. Fresh uh, and the DeFi standard.com. I will put a link in the comments um, to get there so that you can um, you can look at this video. So this is a video that was done quite a while ago. And there's quite a few of them that are out there by Mickey B. Fresh and Patty XRP. Um, just breaking down and talking about um, Spark and Flare and FXRP and things of that nature. Um, so I'm going to make this, try to make this no more than maybe five minutes and then come back and finish the rest um, so that it's not too overwhelming because it can be a little confusing, a little overwhelming, um, which ultimately, you know, <laughs> confuses some people. And then they're just, um, they're just, um, they're just out. Right. They're out. So uh, first of all, let's start with Spark. Right. Flare, FLR, Spark uh, over to the left. Right. So um, those Spark tokens, those airdrops that we're going to get, which we now have gotten in Songbird uh, until Flare launches, um, they're going to be significant and they're going to be huge. First of all, understand something. When somebody takes uh, their crypto and brings it onto Flare networks. It has to be minted, right? It has to be converted to run on the Flare Time Series Oracle, the FTSO, right? So that is going to be someone like, let's just say, maybe BitTrue or some uh, big central exchange or some provider that will convert your XRP to FXRP. In order to do that, that provider, that provider will will require be required to have 2.5 times whatever amount of money that they're converting, right? So if you have $100 of XRP and you want them to convert it to FXRP, um, that provider, that Flare time series or provider who's going to convert it or mint it into FXRP, they need to have 2.5 times in their, in their uh, reserves of Spark tokens, Right. So uh, that is the reserve requirement that they must have. Whatever amount of money that they're handling or converting, they got to keep that in their reserves in order to be able to convert that uh, XRP to FXRP or uh, LTC to FLTC or Doge to FDoge, right? Uh, or XLM to FXLM. They must keep that in the reserves. Well, where do they get those tokens from? Where do you think they get those tokens? spark tokens from. They get them, they either have to go out and buy them and pay for them, or they get them from us delegating votes to them, us delegating spark tokens to them. And what do we as XRP uh, or spark or SGB holders, what do we get in exchange? Well, that's kind of what we see happening over a little bit on the left side of things, right? What we get in exchange for delegating our, our votes and those Spark tokens over to the Oracle providers, what we get is we get we earn things back. We get things back in exchange for that. Remember, they must have those. So I, I bring that up because SGB Songbird tokens are 20 cents right now. Flare tokens are 43, 44 cents right now. Um, on BitTrue, right? This is all on BitTrue, right? That's the only place you can get them from right now, unless you have another place that has dropped them on you from an airdrop perspective, at least SGB, that is. Um, I bring that up because the scarcity of those tokens has not yet been felt. Why hasn't it been felt? Because the FX system or the uh, SX system, uh, it hasn't launched yet. Right. That Oracle, that converter, that minting, that has not launched yet. Once it launches, those providers who are going to be minting or converting your currency from um, XRP to FXRP, they, they will need those tokens. So so it will become a very scarce token, which means it's going the price is going to go up significantly. Um, so, you know, you're going to be you're going to be in a position right now where you can buy SGB and FLR 
for an extremely low price because it's not going to stay there for long. The closer we get to getting some clarity, the closer we get to getting flare launching, you got to remember, guys, the supply and demand, it's, it's, um, it's business temperament, right? So as we have more certainty, then people are going to start aping in and buying those tokens up, which is going to drive the price up. So um, so it's a great opportunity right now to grab Spark tokens, FLR, to grab uh, SGB because uh, the price is going to uh, is going to reverse itself in the um, in the upward direction as more and more people start to understand it. Um, so I want to talk about that. I talked a little bit yesterday about um, you know about like SGB and about um, Flare, but understanding why, like we have to understand why it's going to be such a high demand, uh, high demand, highly demanded um, token, right? It's because of the utility, the way that it can be utilized. And the first thing to keep in mind is that in order for people to convert crypto to work on Flare, they have to go through a, 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 an Oracle provider. That Oracle provider must have those tokens in order to handle that crypto. They can't do it without a guarantee. Where do they get it from? They have to go buy it where they got to get it from us. Right. Right now we're doing Songbird uh, on the Flare Finance app and the Bifrost wallet and whatever your ledger. You are delegating your SGB right now and you're getting token rewards back in exchange. Same thing is going to happen. Right. So those those providers that you're delegating those to, they need those like because pretty soon they're going to want to convert your crypto to work on Songbird, to work on Flare, and they're going to need those tokens. They're going to need two and a half times whatever amount of money that they're trying to convert. They're going to need it. So it's very important to make sure you understand the scarcity, the utility of this token um, and, uh, and don't take it lightly. So uh, I'm not going to spend too much more time. Uh, right now going through this because I think we should absorb what I just said, like why it's important to hold Flare, to hold the Spark token, to hold Songbird. Why? Because it's going to be used and its utility is going to drive us to a level of scarcity, which is going to drive the price appreciation up. Not financial advice, not a financial advisor. I am a studier and a researcher of Mickey B. Fresh and a number of people who put out some content uh, Patty XRP. Uh, if you don't follow them on Twitter, you should follow them. If you haven't been to their website, the DeFi Standard, you should visit it. Um, you should go to their YouTube channel, uh, Mickey B. Fresh, Patty XRP, uh, Mr. Fresh Time. Uh, they have uh, probably the best content out there on Spark or Flare. And um, that's where I've learned all of my information. So uh, I've watched some of their videos 10 times, some of them 10 times in order to figure out and get it because it's very complicated. But at the same time, there's a significant passive income earning opportunity. And I'm all about that. So that's all I have right now, man. Um, you guys have a good night. I'll be back. I'm going to be dropping some more of these uh, Flare Finance uh, or Flare uh, Network rather uh, videos talking about SGB and Flare. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll get into Flare Finance later. But right now, uh, understand why it's important to start accumulating these. Um, very important. I'll leave the video link in the comments. I'll drop the DeFi standard as well in the comments. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, drop them into the comments, or you can hit me with a DM on Twitter. Uh, Stephen Fennell, the home loan expert and the big fan of Flare Networks, XRP. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you soon.